Okay, MacGyver technology. MacGyver and Sons technology here. Uh, so this is the Kenworth. It's got these, right? Those things there. Apparently the different colors are different strengths. This is a pink one. You can see they go right inside there. So in order to pull these out, you basically have to kind of like lift them up and then pull these things apart and then they'll come out the bottom. And what I normally do is, okay, so I'll take the two vice grips, spread the spring apart, and then I may put some silicone or something down here to sort of dampen the spring action. And so uh, that's what I do on these, yeah. So you just, uh, you have to pull on this and then this will come out and then you can kind of adjust that so it pops off. And then you can go around the back side and then pull this out. <clears throat> so typically this will, uh, the symptom is basically it goes all over the place when it spins. Um, and <clears throat> so these springs, basically these springs take all the weight of the load. So if you're doing big loads and stuff, then these springs are gonna go down. They're gonna be, they're just not gonna be the way they should be. You can see this one I stretched out a little bit. It's got a little bit more. And this one, all four of them, I'm gonna stretch out a little bit more. I'm going to put some kind of silicone or some sort of dampening uh, goop on here to slow the squash down. So yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so I got my little jig here. Basically, this is going to hold the spring in place here while I pull on this one and stretch it out, basically. So this is basically what I'm doing. And so, you know, it may bring a little bit of life back into it. You can buy these things. They're only like five bucks a piece. But... You know, I mean, this is one way to kind of fix it. I fixed them before like this, so of course the professionals, they'd say just replace them. And probably that's what you should do, but if you want to just maybe save a buck, and rather than have to throw this whole thing away, uh, you might be able to reuse it. Okay, so I just thought of this. So this is the tubing for the, whatever, it's just rubber tubing. You can find these on old washing machines. They're the water level sensor tube. And we can take this, stick it in here. Now, I'm just experimenting at this point, so I don't really know if this is going to work <clears throat> or not. But theoretically, it's going to give it a little bit more uh, dampening capability. And we can glue this here and make sure that that's going to stay in place. And then that this part goes down on top of that. But yeah, that's uh, just one more added protection. And basically what I do is I, I make these a little bit shorter than the, than the spring itself because this part goes down into there. And so, yeah. Anyway, that's something else you can try.